Well, West Virginia's special session kicks off today, and lawmakers have already started working on tackling the 15 bills sent back from the governor for technical reasons. For more on the special session and what's going on at the West Virginia State Capitol, we go to Adrian Robbins Live, who's been out there all day. Adrian. Yeah, things are a little bit quiet right now, but that's because the House is in recess. Well, the House Finance Committee meets on some of those bills that are on the governor's call. The special session, though, is underway, and for some lawmakers, it's already been a very lengthy day. It started early this morning with interim committees meeting, and that was on purpose. With those committees already meeting, that's going to save the taxpayers a lot of money. They won't have to foot that $35,000 a day bill that they normally would for a special session. So early Early this morning, the Joint Legislative Committee on Flooding met, and of course, all eyes were on them as they heard an update on the schools destroyed in the 2016 flood. On the agenda today, three state school building authority officials testifying on where Kanawha and Nicholas County schools stand. Herbert Hoover High School, Clendenin Elementary, Richwood High School, Richwood Middle School, and Summersville Middle School were all destroyed in the 2016 flood, none of which have been rebuilt. I think we'll all agree the process has been way too slow, uh, but unfortunately it just takes time to work through this process. The work did not end there, though. The governor has over 30 bills on the call for the House and Senate to get through in this special session. They include supplemental bills as well as bills with technical issues like opportunity zones. We have 55 opportunity zones in 55 counties, so you would think there'd be an opportunity zone in every county, but that's really not the case. Uh, the governor drew those lines, and the Greenbrier does happen to be in one of those opportunity zones, uh, so I do think there's a conflict of interest there. Or medical marijuana's vertical integration. Without vertical integration, it's, it makes the program too cost prohibitive to even get into. Plenty of bills going through the Senate today, but one thing you won't see, education. There's no reason education should be the first priority, and it's our first priority. Senate Democrats holding a press conference before the session, introducing eight education bills they want taken up immediately. You know, we're optimistic that if we want to move West Virginia forward, let's get it done. Let's get it done today. Those bills include expanding wraparound services and increasing vocational and technical programs statewide wide. Senate Democrats did introduce those eight bills today, but Senate President Mitch Carmichael has already said that education will not be talked about in the next couple days. Now, as far as on the House side of things, House Speaker Roger Hanshaw has designated all 100 members of the House to education subcommittees. Roger Hanshaw said that if the lawmakers are going to be in town while they're dealing with education reform, they might as well be put to work. As far as the bills that are, will be talked about today, like medical marijuana, vertical integration, and Opportunity Zones. The medical marijuana bill is currently awaiting being taken up in the Senate. Opportunity Zones was taken up in the House and will need a second reading on a following day. We're going to continue to keep you up to date on all of these bills on air and online. But for now, reporting live at the State Capitol, I'm Adrian Robbins, 13 News, working for you.